it's really funny actually when people like meet me and they say to me like Paloma Mami like I think it's so weird like my name's Paloma you know you don't have to call me like Paloma Mami it's kind of strange everybody gets called Mami you know it's a thing it's a thing like people say especially if you're Latina it's like Mami Tore la Mami Paloma Mami and I think it sounded so fire that I made it like my Instagram when I was little and then it stayed till now I was in the studio in Chile with uh, producer Taiko and he put he put a beat on and honestly I just I just got inspired. When I first had the first draft of the song, it was it was just like talking about being sexy and stuff. Then I showed it to my boyfriend and I was like, look, like do you fuck with they blah blah blah? He was like, Yeah, like it's fire. So then we were trying to add another part because I was like, okay, I'm trying to make this like an anthem. Like I said, like an anthem for girls. Like who is somebody that for Latin, the, the whole entire Latin world, like is a is an icon, you know. I was trying to think and I was like, wow, like Evie Queen was la padrona that led everybody through, you know? <laughs> so I was like, wow, that'd be fire if I put, if I put uh, like a sample of hers, you know? And when I heard it like that, I was like, damn, I gotta change the whole entire fucking song now. Like, Pa' la cama voy is a song that like, I'm, I'm the boss. Like, you don't get to decide what I'm gonna do, you know? It's always what I say. And I thought that was so fire and I was like, wow, like, damn, my song's gonna be like meaningless next to that because that song's so powerful. So I was like, God damn, I gotta change everything. And I changed everything. And it took me like five other times to write it. I put so much work into it and I I'm so happy. I'm so happy how it came out. It's, I think it's beautiful and it's super powerful for sure. Devilish features, but I'm heaven sent. La tentación y la gloria también. La que decide cuando y con quién. Papi, prepárate. La tentación y la, la gloria también is the temptation and the glory that comes with it too. I think every woman has like a million different sides and definitely me, like I'm like that. And I have like my my side that I could be like la tentación, devilish, you know, like my little bad self. And then I could be so, so good. And I think every woman has the power to do that. You know, I feel like men don't, men don't don't have the power to do that you feel me like i think it's just women and it's so so dope so fire so i wanted to show that i could be sweet i can be temptation but it's always how i i wanted to be prepare yourself bobby but about they like putting them in check you feel me like don't get it confused Se acerca la madrugada en el VIP. the sunrise is coming closer um, it's getting time to, you know, leave. We're surrounded by gold and silver and, you know, everybody's just, you know, dripping. Well, honestly, I don't go clubbing, but I can tell you when I felt like a moment that was really important for me, where I felt like, you know, como la jefa, you know, boss lady. And it's definitely when I'm on stage. So I feel like that, that, that part of the song is like me feeling when I'm on stage for other people, like if this is a club song, you know, they could be singing in the club and they could be singing in the VIP, you know? I like it when you call me mommy. I like it when you call me mommy. The chorus is like super like important just because of the fact that in the States more cat calling was a, was a really big thing, um, still is. It'd be like mommy for an example in New York. And I feel like I kind of took the word back. I like it when you call me that, you know, because that word makes me feel like I could do anything. That word makes me feel super powerful, makes me feel like a queen. When I hear the fans yelling my name out, mommy, on the show, like I feel so powerful. I think it's, it's an amazing feeling for me. Like, I guess it, it turns me up, you know, it gets me, gets me hype. Yo soy cada mujer from a to Z. More majestic than a seven CZ. This line is so important, you know. It, it basically says that I am literally like every single type of woman. I wanted to say like I can relate to every single woman. We are all the same, you know. That line was inspired by I'm Every Woman, um, Winnie Houston's version, you feel me? I'm every woman. It's not my moon. La poderosa que dos nefertitis. There's no heaven ni rey sin mami. Más poderosa que dos nefertitis is I'm more powerful than two, not one, but two nefertitis. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. I love Lauren Hill. She's a big inspiration for me since always, since I was little. I heard her say that line and I was like, wow, that shit's so crazy. Like, 
to Cleopatra's. Like, Cleopatra's was a freaking boss, you know? And I, I've been to Egypt before when I was younger. I went to Egypt, and I learned about Cleopatra, and I learned about Nefertiti. She was the ruler, like, of Egypt. It's so crazy. Like, it's too. I'm a P, I'm a P, I'm a P. Me gusta que me diga, mami. Let me see if you got what I need, yeah. Voy camino a tu casa, quítame el estrés Como quieras que lo diga en español o inglés I'm on my way to your crib, you know, take the stress off of me How do you want me to tell it to you, you know, Spanish or English? Cause I'm bilingual Going to school, like, it was always, I, I was always have like an insecure moment Like speaking Spanish, like when I had to speak Spanish with my mom It was terrible, the fact that I felt like embarrassed by my own name Like I had like Four names, you know, over there, it's just like Andrew Jackson, you know? I'm like, Paloma Rocio Castillo Astorga. Like, it's so long, and I'd be, I'd be embarrassed of it, ashamed, which is so whack. And when I grew up, I realized, and I was like, wow, like, I realized how awesome it is being Latina and being able to speak two languages, not one. I'm, I'm literally more co cooler than everybody here in this school. Like, I get to speak Spanish and English. Yo le tiro y le llega donde sea que esté. Si tiene hambre, pa ti mucho, guarda pa después. Que los dos tengamos que sudar. Que bailamos al ritmo del tra. Que bailamos al ritmo del tra is that we dance to the rhythm of the. Of the. <laughs> yeah, because there's no translation for that. It's a Latin word. Tra is just like the, a type of beat, a type of sound that slaps, like you said. That's... Que me haga fuerte suspirar. Pero pa la cama digo na na na. It made me breathe heavily, but at the end of the night, I'm not gonna go to bed with you, you know? That's a super important part because everything is like leading up to like what a guy would think is what, okay, yeah, it's lit, let's go. But I'm, again, twisted back on you, just like the first, the intro where it's like, I'm telling you how I am, but then I put you in check, you know, so that you don't think that you got it the way that you want it. These whole entire bars were taken from Evie Queen, sampled from Evie Queen's Yo Quiero Bailar, which is an iconic, iconic song for reggaeton in general. Hearing a woman play in La Disco, like, is like, oh, and saying that shit is like another level, you know? She was the, the pioneer. Yo decido lo que va a pasar. Esta noche no va a ganar. Tranqui papi que yo va a pagar. La mami no tienen que chapear nana. Don't worry, like papi, like I'm gonna pay. I got this. Cause now we're living in a generation where like the girls don't have to depend on the men for the money. Ever since I was little, my grandpa, all he would tell me is like, you cannot depend on a man. Thanksgiving just passed, you feel me? Like you have a fire ass stuffing and damn, like it's so good, but you're so full, you can't you can't keep going. So you wrap it up and you put it in the fridge, you save it for later, you feel me? That's how fire I am. You know what I mean? Like so good, but sometimes you can't take all of it because it's so good that you're gonna have to save it, wrap it up, save it. 